Cincinnati getting into their third match of this grand final matchup. Getting ready to jump on to Old Town right now. Jeez, I, I'm just having such a hard time right now formulating full sentences. And they're hey, just not off the tongue hey, welcome to 2 o'clock in the morning, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> and we already know what the Insanes do on this map. They send three guys to Sniper, and during the first round, third round, fifth round, and seventh, if it goes that long, they believe the Sniper is extremely important. And only one member of Infinity really going that way. So he is going to be going against three Insanes. And of course it is going to be Atmo. He is not host this round. And now he is going to be using that shotgun a little bit more. As one of his teammates is going to come to help him. That is going to be Anya. Oh, and Atmo is going to miss that shotgun. Now he is going to be ball bouncing. Finally he is going to take out Predator. That is going to be two down. It's a four on two situation in favor of Infinity. Yeah, right there. Watching. Watching. Uh... Insane Predator in that 1v1. It's looking like he's having a reticle issue right now. I'm not too sure if he messed around with his sensitivities, but it seems to be every time he targets in, his reticle is either his reticle seems to be too top left of whatever enemy he seems to be trying to shoot right now. Huh. So T Roar able to pick up a kill off of Killa, C Killa, on a grenade, and then I think he tried to throw the second one and uh, just got the kill right there. Infinity taking the first round of this third map. Well Z Killer actually ended himself. Oh, is that what that was? Yep. I don't know. What am I thinking? You don't know what you're thinking. Yeah. I don't know what you're thinking. Okay, so Z Killer got down. He said, ah, beep, 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 beep. Grenade yep. killed himself. All right, Predator grabbing the inks from the bottom. T Roar, I'm sorry, T Roar grabbing the inks from the bottom. Predator grabbing them from the top. Terror making some pretty good moves right now. Um, Z Killer able to pick off Atmo. Predator getting an ink kill off of Flames, waiting on Terror's ink grenade to lose. It's looking like. Uh, it's not going to happen, and the Insane right now going up 4v1. They've secured the Incendiary's end boom shot, and the last man alive right now is J Ribs, I believe. Oh, yeah. Oh, so yeah. this is all but over the Insane. They will not blow this, and here comes a long range boom shot from Zeke. Killer, really just showing that as long as he has elevation, he can put a boom shot where he wants, how he wants, and kill who he wants, when he wants. What's up, man? I'm an insane two-time national champion. This ain't yeah, my man, first yeah, rodeo. Yeah. We only gave you the first match just to be nice guys, but right now we're getting ready to wash shoes for the next three maps. We're tired. We're trying to go to bed. We're ready for the money. So 4v4, the Insanes spawning from the bottom of the map. The Infinity team spawning from the top. And uh, again, Insane Predator making his way towards Sniper uh, with, with help by the Insane team. So three to Sniper. They really want this power weapon. They love the power weapon on this side, which is going to be at the Bell Tower. Of course, that is the Sniper. And they just love it. I am so confused as to why it works. But somehow every team who plays against them falls for this strategy. They never go for the digger or go for middle position. If I am going against the Insanes, I am sending two. I will send three into the middle and one to digger and just cross the living hell out of them yeah. at Sniper. You know what? But here's what I'm thinking, Scott. I think that they send two to Sniper right off the bat and one guy to come mid just for a quick couple lance crosses then he side rolls off that sandbag and pulls back over to the sniper overpowering uh over powering that side and able to crush whatever whatever enemies are in there so the insanes putting another round on the board they're leading the third map of our grand finals right now two to one execution on old town wow <laughs> yeah. wow wow f and a huh yep insanes from the top El or I'm sorry, uh, Insane's from the top, Infinity from the bottom. T Roar picking up the inks, Predator picking up the inks for the Insane team. Yep, that is my thoughts exactly as I am trying to figure out what is going on. Somehow Atmo is so fast that he was able to get the boom shot and he's going to pick up a kill on Z Kill. The king that of is going. Fight. Atmo is. You love saying that. Oh, because that's exactly what he is. Every time I look over on Atmo's screen, the guy is four pointed and he doesn't go down. So Atmo able to secure the boom shot, get a quick kill right there. And uh, the Insanes right now fighting, struggling on this map as they're uh, down a man, 4v3 situation. And Atmo is extremely aggressive, and he is going to be pushing on the members <laughs> of the Insanes who are located at the Sniper Tower. He is with three of his buddies. Predator has just picked up that boom shot. And now we are going to see as, oh, Atmo is going to waste it. He had easy kills, and he is going to body kill him. And now he's going to take some shots at the other guy as he is going to retreat. Here comes the torque bow as Predator will shoot it, but he is unable to do so, and Infinity will be taking this round. Yep, so that's going to go ahead and push these teams, the 2-2 two, two apiece right now. Uh, some pretty good gameplay for this early in the morning. 
Sunday. <laughs> Monday, technically. Oh, that's right. I'm sorry. How absurd. In the morning Monday. It feels like I've been sitting down in this chair and been staring at black and red walls for the last two days. But that's right. I have. We're live for Hype Fest Station 2011, our first ever tournament by the players for the players brought to us by Game Time, Beyond Gaming, Twitch TV. That's, you get, you're getting really solid at putting that plug in, huh? Well, I've been flying black and blue for, I'd say, about a month now. Big time supporter Beyond Game, and I've known them guys for a minute. So, uh, you know, just out there doing the thing. Ah, well, I do not blame you. So in this situation, the Insanes are finding themselves being down 2-3. to three. Finally, Infinity is doing their best to really just shut them down. And here we are seeing as Killa and Z Killa. Every time there's two of them left, it is Killa and Z Killa. I well, swear. That well, they, it seems to be obviously that they play well off. The oh so God! Z Killer getting a really nice kill right there, dropping that down to the two v two. J Ribs in the middle, and up here comes the ghost cam from Looking Predator. For the ghost cam, J Ribs still in the middle. And Flames is actually at the top of the sniper here, there so they are is. just really going for a cross. Kind of wondering what Flames is going to do here. I think Flames is actually just going to hang out. J-Ribs has a pretty nice uh, solid positioning. He can Lancer. He can Lancer and cross uh, the members of the Insanes uh, from where they're at. And if they go ahead and push up Flames, once again, he can Let's Lancer and cross. This. And he's in the middle of the map, so I'm pretty sure it's a grenade round right now. So um, we'll see what happens. They might be able to make some pretty good, uh, some pretty good moves. And... We're in a 2v2 situation, so Infinity pulls this off. They're uh, they're going to go ahead and move up. We're tied 2-2 right now, right? You sounded like a pilot right there. I like that. What's that? You sounded like a pilot. You know when like a pilot comes on the intercom? Yeah. And uh, we're going to be going... Uh, looks like Turbulence wins about uh, 50. And as I am saying that, we are finally seeing a little bit of engagement here. Flames is going to reposition himself. He is going to take that right-hand advantage. Jibs. Jibs. Welcome Jay to Hype Fest Station Airlines. <laughs> this is your pilot, the FaceX speaking. Right now, we're looking at a 2v2 situation. Oh, no. Here no. And here comes the push from Killa and Zeke. Killa is going to be down by J Ribs. J Ribs now has to get out of dodge because they were able to pick him up. He is full red. Will the Insanes get clutch here or will they fall victim to the incredible play by Infinity? And Zeke is going to body J Ribs. And now Flames as a two-on-one situation. The Insanes will most likely play this one very slow and methodical because they refuse to give any kind of clutch situation up. Yeah, this is actually something pretty cool right now. Killing Z-Killer, J-Ribs getting a really nice down, and then he decides to pull out his shotgun up and A again. So right now we're back to those poor decision makings, and the Insanes making J-Ribs pay right now. Is that going to be it? The Insanes Floater! Nothing. Little short right there, but both members of the Insane are well aware of where Flames is at. Z Killer with the sniper and Killa with the Lancer out right now. Mm. Z Killer just kind of trying to get a wider angle, but Z Killer, you could not get an angle from there, buddy. Looking like you're going to have to make moves and push this member of Infinity out. So what do you do? If only they had a smoke grenade, and Flames is going to show some balls here, and he is just going to try to bait him in. And what's going to happen here? And he is going to be full red. This is not good. Here comes the push from the Insanes. This is a two-on-one. Flames is desperately trying to do it. He's going to be able to down it. He's going to clutch. Two-on-one. Unbelievable play here. He was full red. And the hard L trigger after hard L trigger. He's going to down both killers. Two killers. Two shotguns. Unbelievable. Man, at a little after 2 o'clock in the morning, this place is still electric. As we heard, game time right here. And load Infinity. I'm Rick Flair now. Putting a really nice, a nice uh, job right here on land. And now the Insanes will have the advantage here coming into this round since they have elevation and it is actually quicker for them to get to that boom shot. But it seems as though Atmo just showing no respect for them flying in there no matter what. And it really catches the Insanes off guard, but they sent three guys to boom, so Nick Merch will be able to extract that boom and relocate up to the top of the map. Predator will be just staying in the alleyway and throwing down color cover, and Killa is at the top of Sniper. And here, this is going to be the Torque, so J-Ribs is going to be grabbing that one Torque bow. I cannot see the other two members' screen, so I have no idea where they're going to be. But if they're anywhere not near J-Ribs, he should probably relocate, right? 
Yep, that probably sounds like the best idea right there. One of the members, J Ribs, getting full red. He has a torque throw. He's charging right now. He's splash trying to damage. catch a little splash damage active, but that's not going to do any work right there. He has three bows left. 3v3 situation. Insane Nick Merck's having the boom shot. Two members, three members of the Insane's Alive uh, versus three members of Infinity. Indeed. That last one, the, the middle one on the Locust is actually kind of decently hard to see. Uh, I think that is Savage Drone. Maybe? Savage Drone. When you say hard to see, what do you mean? Like, like, like he, he blends, blends in with the back. In. Yeah. Yep. yeah, you're right. He does kind of look like a brick wall, huh? Yeah, he does. <laughs> and then what can you do? Yeah, exactly. Indeed. So, uh, three on three situation here. We have the Torque Bow in the hands of Infinity. We have the Boom Shot in favor of the Insanes. And they also have Height Advantage. And we are seeing a little bit of life here from the Infinity members as they are going to be pushing up the alleyway. Nick Mertz and the rest of the guys seem to be repositioning. They may be going all the way over to the Snipe Tower and pushing on him. But now we are seeing as Flames and Terror will be regrouping. And we are seeing the three-man push to the Sniper Tower here from the Insanes. Uh, and he is just going to stand his ground. He is not going to back down. Screw you, Insanes. He is going to face you, face you head on. And now he is about to be full red. He needs to get out of this one. Getting out of this one, he does, as my co-host does not come in at all, and I have to continue to talk. Sorry about that, MLG Gandhi. I was thinking about what was going on right there. Every now and then we get in the, every now and then we just zoned. I actually took a little yawn and, and, uh. How'd it feel? It Be honest. I, you know what? It actually wasn't over being, being fatigued right there. It was, I think it was actually over the gameplay. So we just <laughs> got done watching two really fast-paced matches. Oh, oh, now, look at now, this. Now look we're, at this. Now we're at 3v3. J-Ribs finally starting to make a little bit of moves. The Insanes have boom shot. Why haven't they started making moves? Where is that aggressive team that we've been oh, seeing all day? Oh, here comes the ink, and J-Ribs is going to be taken down. There Nick they go. with a great boom shot here. There is one member left. It is Terror. He has got to be terrified. Huh? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. He has to be <laughs> terrified right now. One member of the Insane's dead, so he is all over the ghost cams looking for terror. So that's why everybody's kind of standing still. Once they start moving, I am sure one of the I am who, I, who is dead right now on the Insane's. <laughs> ah, it's looking like Z Killer. So once Z Killer locates terror, he's going to go ahead and relay that message out, and the Insane should be flying for the Gib. Now to put this map away, right? Apps. I have. I, have, I actually am completely clueless. I, I have lost track. <laughs> I have Perfect. literally lost track. Now I'm pretty sure we're three-two favor right now. The Insanes. I thought it was three-two favor of Infinity. It very well might be three-two favor of Infinity. And yes, you are right. You are right. Three-two favor of Infinity. That's going to go ahead and tie this up to three-three. And we're going to move into the last round right now. Coming into a digger, uh, frag grenade side. Unfreaking believable. Yeah, really good play right there. Killer doing work with one kill, 424 points, and barely falling short from the rest of his team. The Insane starting to heat up a little bit. 4v4, we're on board right now with Insane Predator. Once again, making a play on the sniper, it is not as important as I think uh, as I think they think it is. I think, I think Predator just wants it because he wants to get some clips. Well, I think the real rebuttal here is that the Digger only has three shots in it and the sniper has eight. But, um, you know, the sniper is a lot harder to use, and the digger, you can really just fish them out of cover and really speed up the gameplay. But then again, you know, it is in the hands of Predator, and he is very good with it. And very standard here in these round sevens is we are going to see the gameplay drastically slow down. Predator is going to be looking for a crazy angle through ridiculous cover here. Um, the members of Infinity are sitting, hanging out. At Two of them are at the top of the bell two tower. Two of them are actually like huddled into a corner. Having yeah, they're, a full they're shooting cover. craps. Yeah, shooting yeah, craps. Yeah. Hey, man, snake guys, snake guys. Fuego, fever, fever, fever. Nina, nina, nina. I got $2 on that. That is exactly what they were rolling right there. And especially, know? I mean, look at this. Look at the area there. And this is definitely happening there. That is craps. Look at this. It is a run-down neighborhood. No one knows what's going on here. There's clothes on a clothesline. You haven't seen that yeah, since there's the 40s. There's fresh fruit and chicken, so obviously it's got to be... Uh, yeah. You know, there, there, there's people on? floating around there somewhere. Yeah. So, anyway, we're in a 4v4 stalemate situation. Um, yes. I, you know what, Gandhi? I, I get the, we're taking a timeout for that. Just in my overhead, Red Bull, coffee, monster, or liquor. So I have choices between one, two, three, and four. Gotti, what are you in the mood for? I would literally adore a coffee. I would yeah. adore it. Because it's, we're in here for another three hours, and I am going to be so is it, is it, uh, miserable. Is it, is, it, is it original flavor monster or the assault? 
Uh, just a, a, a monster. Hey, I, let, I okay. hate Red Bull. So let me get a coffee, a little bit of creamer, no sugar. I'm already sweet enough. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah? Yeah, you like that? Yeah. So anyway, My we, mom actually taught me that. You just gave that Red Bull choice. I'm not a big fan of Red Bull, Gandhi. Uh, I, I wasn't either. I, I yeah. have a real bad experience with it. Remember when Red Bull came out back in the day? I think I was actually like a junior in high school, and it was like the big deal to mix that the, was that the, Red Bull, the Red Bull. The Red Bull. The Red Bull vodka. Uh, I'm sorry. Red Bull with, uh, <laughs> with the absolute vodka, and it was supposed to be the thing. Well, uh... It didn't really work out the one time I tried it, and I just got really sick, and I just haven't liked Red Bull since. Man, Change well. the flavor. Can I get, like, a cherry flavor Red Bull or, like, a acai? With the chaos yeah. of cherry. With the chaos of cherry. And we are still in this stalemate. Predator has attempted to take a couple shots. Here comes a digger. It is going to do nothing. That angry gopher is going to be unleashed, but he is just going to go back into his burrow and just sit there and wait to get smoked out. You like how I called him a gopher? Yeah, you like that? I think huh? that? This is the second time we've uh, actually come over to the same predator. He's just holding down the same angles, looking at the same spots right now. We get it. I'd like to see some kind of plays right now. Somebody's got to make some kind of move. Strategically, but then again, strategically speaking, though, this is actually really good for the Insaints to really wake this round up because then coming up next in the next round, since it'll a be a stalemate, they will have the boom shot and they will have elevation. So it's very smart for them to push up. But I know they want to close out here. So it'll be interesting to see. I personally, if I am them, I oh, we're going to have a sniper duel. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the first sniper duel I have ever had the privilege of casting. Yes. Indeed. Nice, nice, nice. Now nice. I am hyped. Oh, and Atmo has to get out of here. They are looking for him. Oh, Predator, they were just waiting for this, it seems as though. And Atmo really just being completely fearless, popping back out. And Predator versus Atmo. If we could get a split here, I will freaking lose my mind. Jordan Ribeiro once again making plays on the map. Throwing a perfect grenade and able to pick off one member of the Insanes. That's going to go ahead and put Infinity up 4v3. And then Gandhi, you just got done saying, this is my first ever sniper battle I get to witness. We obviously know there's a minute on the clock. If Terra wants to do anything, he's going to have to go ahead and make moves. But if the members of Infinity get pushed out here right now, the Insanes aren't chasing anybody down. This map's going to go to a draw. j Ribs once again, slaying Insane Predator. Oh, I'm about to push it up. Into the bell tower. Here we go. The last guy. Will he be doing it? And yes, he is going to take him down. That map is going to go in favor of Infinity. Infinity is going up 2-1. to one. We have ourselves such a long night ahead of us. Yay! <laughs> that is definitely happening. Once again, Infinity Slayer, Jordan Ribeiro, a.k.a. J-Ribs, doing exactly what he needed to do right there. It's pretty much a hip.